first want you to listen to two people that we know have the president's ear, uh, Laura Ingram and Sean Hannity. The president tonight should seriously consider whether Rod Rosenstein should remain on the job. We just cannot have this plotting at the highest levels of the Justice Department against the chief executive of this executive branch. I have a message for the president tonight. Under zero circumstances should the president fire anybody. They are hoping and praying that the president does just that. They're hoping he gets mad, that he gets sick and tired of it, and that they can turn this politically into their equivalent of a Friday night massacre. The president needs to know it is all a setup. So conflicting advice from his advisors and friends there at Fox News. What do you think? Should the president fire Rod Rosenstein? Yeah, I, I mean, I tend to agree with one of the guests you had on earlier that it probably is more a question of when than if Rod Rosenstein becomes uh, one of the latest firings of the Trump administration. I do think Sean Hannity's right. Uh, that the timing of it is, is a little bit suspicious in the sense that uh, firing him at the wrong time could have some more significant political uh, ramifications. But that said, look, this is a president who, under this Constitution, has unilateral executive power. We don't have a multiple uh, executive branch. The framers could have done that. They didn't do that. Uh, instead, we give the entire power of the executive branch to one person. And if that one person believes that people under him are working to undermine or, or actively uh, not support the policies he seeks to uh, enact, then I think he does have a right to fire uh, Rod Rosenstein uh, when he does choose. You know, several guests have said that this makes it easier, potentially, for the president to do it without, um, and not completely, but in some ways avoiding the question of obstruction of justice. We'll see if it even gets to that point if the president decides to fire uh, Rosenstein. Uh, you know, one thing we have not talked about is that this report from the New York Times came out just a few hours after the president tweeted his reversal uh, in releasing and declassifying those documents related to the Russia investigation. Do you expect or should this reporting lead the president to reconsider that reversal. No, no, no. And, and I agree with a lot of uh, uh, friends of mine uh, in the House of Representatives who believe that these documents should be transparently broadcast to the American people unredacted so we can figure out why this Russia investigation began. Again, this has been almost two years going into this Mueller investigation and not one Incredible bit of evidence that Trump colluded with Russia has since been, uh, you know, uh, broadcast to the American people. Uh, more questions have been asked about how, why, and when this investigation started. So I certainly side with the president on that. I, cer I certainly side with a lot of member of Congress uh, who feel the same way. Uh, and it does kind of raise some suspicion when you have people like Rod Rosenstein, but more of, of his ilk within the Department mm -hmm. of the Justice, uh, who are seeking to uh, block this this. Uh, uh, unredacted document from going out. So there are lots of questions there about uh, you're saying that there's no evidence of collusion there. This investigation is not over and there would be some who who would point to the the Trump Tower meeting in 2016 to uh, rebuff what you just said there. But I've got one more thing to get to. I just wanted to point out sure. that there's obviously some conflict. There will be some people who disagree with what you said there. I want to play for you what uh, HUD Secretary Ben Carson said at the Value Voters Summit. Uh, this is about um, uh, Mrs. Uh, Blasey Ford, who's accusing uh, Judge Kavanaugh of sexual assault back when they were in high school. Listen to what he attributes this accusation to. If you really understand the big picture of what's going on, then what's going on with Judge Kavanaugh will make perfectly good sense to you. Because you see, there have been people in this country for a very long time, go all the way back to the Fabians, who have wanted to fundamentally change this country. And in order to do that, there are three things that they must control. The educational system, the media, and the courts. Okay, the first two they have. Secretary Carson there suggesting that her accusation is part of a century-long plot to uh, change this country by, by socialists. What is he talking about? And do you agree? Well, well it, it's certainly a, a, a more cerebral and, and perhaps odd way to uh, talk about, I think, what the Democrats are trying to do. And they are trying to prevent uh, Judge Kavanaugh's nomination. Now, I have no obvious uh, knowledge of whether the assault happened to, to Dr. Ford. Uh, I certainly hope it didn't. Uh, but that said, 
All the evidence that has come out since this allegation has become public it tends to make people believe that this is not uh, did not occur as. But Dr. you know Ford, how you get evidence. Uh, you have you know, an investigation, right? Well, but 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 also we, we do have some evidence. I mean, she pointed to certain people that she claimed were there when this happened, and they said that this in fact didn't happen the way. I mean, you had a, a panel it under of about five or six women on CNN uh, last week, uh, and 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 they unanimously said that they didn't believe her. So I mean, yeah. I, I don't I don't want to be the one to, to to pass judgment whether it happened or not. But it certainly seems that a lot of people don't buy uh, the story as she's saying it, uh, and are seeing this as more of a delay tactic by well, Democrats uh, in the nomination. You could certainly put some people under oath instead of having their attorneys send out statements. Um, but you would agree, or rather, you would disagree with the secretary that this is this is part of some century-long socialist plot to change the country. Well, I look. I don't know if it's any plot. I'm sure that if it is, they're being very secret. But we, you know, Republicans Joseph, are being chastised wait a minute, for saying wait a minute. that there's a I deep state the rap. Uh, working with the got... administration. So you, you um, are you are you not taking a side on the socialist plot line from the secretary? No, I, I mean, I, I don't know if there are socialists uh, plotting to undermine the government. I mean, I, I don't think there are. All right. uh, perhaps there are. But, but more, more importantly, Okay, Joseph, though, we, we got to cut it there. I, I appreciate oh. the interview, but, but you don't know if this is part of some socialist plot. That's where we got to cut it. Joseph Morelli, thanks so much for being with us. Take care, Victor.